they're currently at seven dollars a share but yahoo analysts are estimating that they will move up to fifteen dollars in the next 12 months that's over a hundred percent return on the stock hey guys this is april 22nd through april 26th edition of this week's winning stocks and as you know i like to start this edition off with the s p 500 the dow and the nasdaq because those three let us know what the market is generally doing overall and as we see on the s p 500 the market took a slide back for three weeks it ran up quite a few weeks if we look here but then it took a slide back for three weeks and then this last week was a positive week and started to come back up if we look at the nasdaq or i should say if we look at the dow we see a similar thing three weeks down and now this week was sideways it was sort of a doji and with the nasdaq three weeks down and a positive week as well so we had a positive week throughout with the markets let's look at what the stocks on our watch list did now i like to break the stocks on my watch list down into three tiers three star which is the most fundamentally sound two star which is beneath that and one star which is the least fundamentally sound but still sound enough to make the watch list on this week's watch list i have also a few notable companies that don't have any stars they're not on the watch list but they are big names so I just included them there and you guys could use your judgment as to what you want to do but we start with Darling Ingredients Darling Ingredients is a two star they have an earnings report coming out on April 24th now for those who don't know an earnings report it's sort of like going to a casino the earnings report can turn out good the stock price can jump you can make a lot of money it can turn out bad the stock price could drop you could lose a lot of money if you're not prepared for that kind of roller coaster ride and you don't already own, own the stock you may want to wait until after the earnings report drops now in this case the earnings report already passed it came out already you see it wasn't a significant factor it came out two days ago it wasn't a significant factor in any event this stock is at 44 dollars and 67 cents a share yahoo analysts estimate it can go up to 61 dollars and 63 cents a share in the next 12 months next we have biogen biogen is a three star they have an earnings report dropping on July 23rd or later that week notice they had been dropping a few weeks straight because these are what weekly candlestick charts every candle represents a week so they've been dropping quite a few weeks but this last week they started to take a move up we want to see if they continue to go up 
go sideways or go down. Now, Biogen is currently at $208.90 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can go up to $286.10 a share in the next 12 weeks, 12 months, I'm sorry. Next we have Chevron Corporation. Chevron Corporation is a one star. They have an earnings report dropping on April 26th. They're currently at $165.89 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to $180.98 a share in the next 12 months. Now they were moving sort of sideways, started to move up in slight moves, and just as well this week, a little bigger candle this week. So we want to see what they do moving forward. MGP Ingredients. They are a two star. They have an earnings report dropping on May 2nd. Now, they're currently at $80.54 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they're moving up to $114.14 a share in the next 12 months. They're not beginning to move up yet. It had two last two weeks were positive, but they're still in a sideways pattern. We have Yum China Holdings. Yum China Holdings is a spinoff from Yum Brands, believe their subsidiary. Those not familiar with Yum Brands, they are KFC, Taco Bell, and Pizza Hut. Well, Yum China is KFC, Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, and other restaurants in China. They started to move up. Then we see they dropped one positive week, dropped again. Now we get a positive week again. We want to see if they drop some more. Start a sideways pattern or are they ready to move up? They're, they're like I said, a one star currently at $39.65 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $56.42 a share. And they have an earnings report dropping on April 29th. We have National Research Corporation. They're a two star. Have an earnings report coming out on it on May 7th. They're currently at $33.81. Yahoo analysts didn't have an estimate on them, but my estimate based on PE ratio, my conservative estimate is $41.31 a share. Now they took two significant drops for two weeks straight. And we see for these last two weeks, it's been dojis, it's in sideways pattern. We want to see what they do moving forward. Air products and chemicals. Air products and chemicals is a two star. They have an earnings report dropping on April 30th, a few days. 
they're currently at $236.08 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to $268.35. Now, Air Products and Chemicals took a steep drop a while back. And when they took that drop, I suggested them in this week's option picks. And as you know, the things I suggest for this week's option picks, I don't only suggest, I buy them so that you guys can see the results. And if you go back and look through some of my videos, you'll see it. I made, uh, and what I buy is not the stock, but the option. I made over a hundred percent return on my money in a month with this option. Then when it started to drop, I let it go. Move back up a week, it drops some more. Now we see another green candle. Will it continue its climb up? Move sideways or continue to go down? Next we have Haymanetics Corporation. They are a two star. They have an earnings report dropping on May 9th. They're currently at $90.99 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they're moving up to $105.57. They moved up sideways little now we see a big candle still sideways but it sort of broke away from the others it broke above them but i still see a little resistance line across here is it going to break above that now rogers corporation is a one star. They have an earnings report dropping on April 25th. Well, I guess we should say they have an earnings report which dropped on April 25th because that would have been yesterday. They're currently at $121.03 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to $147.50 in the next 12 months. Now, they're still sort of moving in a sideways cap pattern, but this candle has been bigger than their previous ones. So we want to see what they do moving forward. Starbucks Corporation, they actually, fundamentally, they didn't qualify to be on my watch list, but I did provide analysis for them on the channel, and they are a big name, so I'm going to speak on them anyway. They have an earnings report coming out on May 6th. They're currently at $88.25 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to $103.05 a share. And the previous week was a positive week, and then this week that just passed was a doji. Accelus Technologies. They are a three star. They have an earnings report dropping on May 1st. They're currently at $103.06 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to $153. Now they have been moving down. Then last week we had a red candle. This week are green, but these last two weeks were in a sideways pattern. 
want to see if they continue the drop down, start to move sideways, or start their move up. Now, the stocks that you see me present in this week's winning stock, guys, I want to let you know there's two things about them. One is they're all fundamentally sound unless you see no stars. The second thing is they've reached, they've gone down to or are starting to climb back up from their annual low price. So that's why I see them as opportunities and I'm looking to see when they start their climb back up. So next we have the Simply Good Foods Company. They are a two star. They have an earnings report dropping on June 27th. And they're currently at $34.40 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to $39.92 a share in the next 12 months. We see this their second week moving up. United Health Group. They are a three star. They have an earnings report dropping on July 12th. Their next earnings report, July 12th or later that week. They're currently at $495.35 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to $566.00 and 61 cents a share. Now guys, when I analyzed this company, they were at about $440. And I analyzed them the day before an earnings report was about to drop. I made the decision not to buy them. I didn't want to be on that roller coaster ride. I said I'll buy them after the earnings report. What a big mistake. That next day, the earnings report dropped. They increased $24 in that day alone. Then, after they increased so much, I said, okay, it's too late for me to jump in now. I don't want to get in. They continued up the rest of that week from $440 to 400 and it was above 495 But let's just say from 440 to 495 in one week. Then we have Zoetis Inc. Now Zoetis Inc. is one, is another one. I um, dropped the analysis on them last week. And we see them making a little move already. They are a two star. Currently at $158.42 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to $218.13 in the next 12 months. They have an earnings report dropping on May 2nd. Now, Energizer Holdings. And I'm sure you've seen commercials with the Energizer Bunny who has the Energizer batteries. Well, this is Energizer Holdings. They are not on our watch list. But I saw the name, I was intrigued, so I added the analysis on them. 
They have an earnings report dropping on May 7th. They are currently at $28.51 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to $34.25 in the next 12 months. They're not moving up significantly, but you'll see two positive weeks. Red Robin Gourmet Bur Burger. They are also not on our watch list. And they have an earnings report dropping on May 22nd. The analysis on this stock is actually in the channel. They've had two positive weeks. Now, I normally don't buy any company unless they're fundamentally sound. But I have to say, I did find Red Robin as a stock. I'm not sure if I've eaten there before. But I did find them to be very intriguing for one reason alone. And that one reason is they're currently at $7 a share. But Yahoo analysts are estimating that they will move up to $15 in the next 12 months. That's over a 100% return on the stock. Now, I've had over a 100% returns on options in a short period of time. I can make over a 100% return on an option in like a month or a month and a few days. But on a stock, that's pretty significant. In any event, let's get to our next one. Well, actually, that's that's our last one. So that's it for this week's winning stocks, guys. I look forward to speaking to you in the next video, and you guys have a great night.